Hey there kiddos. Um, if you missed the how to make a bar chart comparison um, Google Meet, this is how you do it. Okay. So the first thing, this is what it's going to look like when you're done. Notice it has the title, it has a vertical axis subtitle about what you were measuring and it has at the bottom the trials. Like first time you did it, second time you did it, third time you did it. All right. So this is what you need to do. This is not hard to do. It is a lot like the line chart um, creation using Google Sheets, but there are a couple things we have to change around. Remember on the Google Sheets, we put our first row ran here and our second, our, our data rows were um, in the second through fourth rows. This is gonna be a little bit different. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up a new Google Sheet. And while you're waiting, be thinking about what your title is. This time you should be comparing two different exercises and how they changed your heart rate. So your title should have something to do with that. And my sheet's still updating. It, my internet is very slow today. Here we go. So remember you always title it with your first name or your first initial last name. And then I'm gonna put sports heart rate comparison. That gives me the general idea of what I should do. Now the first thing I have to do is create my data table. So for this portion right here in the graph, I'm going to call this my try, my trials. And then underneath that, I'm going to put the first time I tried it, the second time I tried it, and the third time I tried it. Because remember, you have three trials in experiment. Now my second column, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see a little bit bigger. Give me one sec, make it bigger. Change my font. I don't like Arial, and I'm going to change my font to 14 just to make your life easier. All right, so trials the first time, the second time, the third time. Now, this is the first exercise as I did. And let's pretend like I jumped rope. Jumping rope. And then I measure my heart rate the first time after I had jumped rope for a minute, and it was at 154, which is pretty high. The second time I did it, I measured it, and oh my goodness, it was at 160. I must have, jumping rope must be a really good exercise because it gets my heart rate up high. And the second time it was at one, or third time it was at 158. Now, I'm going to put in my next sport I did. So I did sit-ups. I didn't really, I hate doing sit-ups. I really shouldn't hate doing sit-ups, but I do. i got to select that row and put it all in the same font and the same size. Sometimes playing around with this stuff works. Now, when I did sit-ups, my heart rate didn't go up that much. The first time it was 118. The second time it was 120. And the third time it was 114. And like this, I need to make these also in the right font. All right. Now, my third sport. Um, let's see. I did some running. Okay. I'm going to do something easy here. I'm going to make sure I'm all in the same font, in the same font size before I start typing. All right. So the first time I went running, my heart rate went up to 138 beats per minute. The second time I went running, it went up to 142. The third time I went running, it went up to 140. Okay. So you set up your data table. Notice this is different than a line graph because you're not comparing across time. You set your trials in the first column, your first sport in the second column, your second sport in the third column, and your fourth sport in the fourth column. Now, y'all are just comparing two sports, so you're not going to need this column. Now, select all of that, highlight it, then you're going to go up to Insert, and you're going to choose Chart. And you give your computer a second to work. Now, notice, this chose the line graph. Well, I'm not comparing anything across time, so I don't really want a line graph. I'm comparing different sports to each other. So what I really want is a bar graph, a column chart. So I'm going to choose column chart. Look at what it's already done. I'm going to enlarge this so you can see it. It's already chosen. It's put down here trials, the first trial, the second trial, the third trial. It's given me a key. Jumping rope is blue. Sit-ups are red. Running is yellow. All that, really nice. It's given me a title over here that isn't what I want it to be called, so I'm gonna double click there, and I'm gonna put it sports 
heart rate comparison. There you go. Now I have a title. Now I'm missing over here, I'm missing a vertical title. Do you see that? I'm missing the Y axis title. So I click on this, I double click on this chart. Now over here to my right comes up the chart editor. Make sure you're on customize. Then you're going to choose you don't want grid lines, you want your vertical axis. No, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong thing. I need the titles. So I've got a chart title, but I need my vertical axis title. And here, what are these numbers over here measuring? They're measuring your heart rate. So here I'm gonna name this heart rate. And remember, you put the units you're measuring in, beats per minute. Hit that and look, it pops up here. Yay. If I want to make that bigger, if I if I want to, I could. But for, for right now, for me, I'm not upset with how big it is. But if I want to make it bigger, I can go to 14. I could change this if I want to, the horizontal axis title, and I want to change this to 14. I could do that. Okay? So all that can be done. Now, the other thing that you need to think about, you've got a title, a vertical axis title, an x-axis title. You've got your key here because our ranges, just like in the line graph, are so big, 50 points is a big range. I'm going to insert some minor grid lines so that you can better estimate what this red is instead of knowing it's just somewhere between 100 and 150. So once again, double click on the chart. The chart editor comes up. You're going to want to go down to this bottom one on the customize label called grid lines. Click there. Now, this is a 50 points. The way to choose, since I want to count by fives, I don't count the 100, but then I count 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 145. Well, the 150 mark's already up there, so that's nine bars it's gonna to take to account by fives. So I chose nine there. Notice that puts this in, and then you're much more easily able to see about what these numbers are. So that's very helpful. There's one more thing I want to put in to make it even more helpful as I go to series, and then I click data labels. Look at that. It puts the numbers in on each bar. So you can know exact data. And that's how you create a bar graph comparison chart from your spreadsheet data table. Remember, you put in trials in the first column, your first sport is title, and then your measurements, your second sports title and the measurements, highlight that area, insert chart, and then choose this kind, the bar graph. All right, I know you can do this. I miss you, I hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you later. Bye, sweet pies.